Sherika Jackson brought to tears. And Natoya Gould, days away from World Championships 2023. Is this the year when the 800 meter star stands on that World Championship podium? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, unfortunately, the USA's Michael Norman, last year's 2022 world champion in the men's 400 meters. Well, let's say he is not having a very good season. He wrote, Unfortunately, I will not be defending my title at the 2023 world champs. After an extremely frustrating season, I've decided to step away from track for the remainder of the 2023 season in order to refocus on 2024 Paris Olympics. Boy, this seems to be happening almost everywhere. Well, I mean, good luck to Michael Norman. This simply means that the 400 meter field is a little bit more wide open and uh, well, we can talk about it in another video. Now, the remarkable Natoya Gould, national champion in the women's 800 meters and ranked number four in the world in the 800 meters. Is this the year when she finally stands on that world championship podium? Now, Natoya Gould has been consistently one of the top in the world, but this year she lands in at the number four spot for the 2023 season over the women's 800 meters. At the number one spot over the 800 meters is the Great Britain's Keely Hodgkinson with a time of 1 minute 55.77. Then there is Mary Moray uh, of Kenya with a time of 1 minute 58.85. Then Jima Riki uh, of Great Britain with a time of 1 minute 57.30. And then Natoya Gould Toppin with a time of 1 minute 57.6 one seconds so can she hit that medal medal podium now just based on the, the numbers and the stats yes she can she's had a pretty solid year and i think she fixed one of her primary issues now here she's running a season's best or earlier season's best i think um for the 2023 season this is not her best so far but this is one of her season's best the pace that's been asked for is 157.8 through 400 metres, targeting Mora. She's so strong over the, over the final 200 metres. This is the tactic. The champion is having the race of her season as well. Sage Herta Klecker holding on for fourth place, but Mary Mora so strong in the closing stages. She saved something here for the last 50 and she's striding away. It's quick through the bell and it's quick across the finish. Now, uh, we've watched Natoya Ghoul improve her technique, meaning um, initially in the last two years, well, up to, well, at the Tokyo 2020 uh, Olympics, we believe that one of the reasons she didn't end up on a podium is that she had this technique of running from uh, the front. You know what I mean? She would start out and try to maintain that. And normally in the last 200, it ten tended to have been when she lost the 800 meter race. Uh, what we've noticed this year is that she has not been doing that. She has not been falling to that flaw. And of course, we all learn, we evolve. She has a great team behind her, a great uh, team of coaches, etc. So if you look at that race where she does, that you just saw, she has changed that tactic. She's not going out at the front and she seems to be a little bit more tactical. She's pacing herself because I guess, you know, she has learned she just doesn't have the foot speed, that kick that you need in the last, um, the last 200 meters or the last 100 meters of any uh, one lap or 800 meter race. So the truth is, I do think she does stand a honestly, reasonably very strong chance of hitting the podium this year. And I mean, I honestly believe this. 
I, I think the person it's it's going to be hardest for her to beat is the great great Britain's Keely Hodgkinson. But I honestly think yes, she can definitely definitely hit the podium if she doesn't do that run from the front thing. Um, you know, and she times it a little better. I do think she has a. This is her best opportunity, I think, for hitting the podium. But this, of course, is just my two cents. Now, Sharika Jackson enters this year's World Championships as the person who has the greatest chance of winning both the women's 100 and the 200 meters. In fact, one would say she has a lock for the 200 meters and with the fastest time of the season of 10.65 that no one has replicated. And yes, I know some of you are going to say Shakari has run 10.71 and that's very true, but we've never seen her dip below a 10.70. And I think very often we tend to underestimate how powerful and how fast you have to run to run below a 10.70. There's been very very few women who have ever accomplished this goal so the truth is in both 100 and 200 meters sharika jackson is the obvious favorite to win now we decided to share this um it was a post done by world athletics and it sort of moved us because she herself meaning sharika jackson became sort of teary eyed this is her uh reacting to herself running the women's 200 meters to become world champion last year in 2022 in Oregon and setting running the second fastest 200 meter all time of 21.45. Watch. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sit. Boom. Mm -hmm. No, I'm run my curve good. I should have still close to the line. All right, ready, ready, boom. It was over! If I'm come off on the curb, it done it, done it, done it, done it, done it. I was like, tilt your head, tilt your head, tilt your head, bring your head forward, like my head. Boom. Oh, God. Who's first gold medal, you know? First, first gold medal. After so many bronze, just by watching it and see, like, Everything comes together at the right time. The championship record, the 21-4 that I wrote down that I wanted to run, everything that came together, it was just magical. And to just re-watching it and going through the step from the walk into the blocks, the medal presentation, really, really good. This is so cute. I <laughs> know. I like this little step. Put on my shades and look for myself. So like, oh yeah, I remember myself, I'm great, you know, I'm among the best and I want to be among the best, I want to stay among the best, so I'm working hard for that. So what will she do this year? I honestly believe that she can take the double and I think we're going to do a video on that soon that she, <laughs> you know what, I'm not going to say, but I do think that um, she's going to do a remarkable job come Monday next week. So you should know that Monday next week is when the finals of the women's 100 meters will be run. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens, bless up.